cabins ain't up to you See the ghost but you don't know if it's holy Now time goes so fast and you wish it would Sleep ain't nothing but death, brother If you have a woman, tell her that you love her You might not get a chance But I'm gonna get out oh, I'm gonna get out I'm gonna pay the time When I Sitting there, stoned in a leather chair. Oh, yeah, this mountain, this mountain is me. They were closing up their doors Diamond pendants and lockets Wedding rings and more So I drove down to Santa Barbara On that scary Michael's pass Hoping the lilacs are in bloom no. begins to fall and the birches get so cold Just remember little darling I think of you on the road Daffodils come out to play The hour is growing soon I'll see you my darling When the lilacs are in bloom I see you, my darling. I'm All right, you want to take one? You got it. Sounds great. Can you do it? Sounds great. We have a lot of people to thank, so I'm just going to go through it quickly. The Cultural Councils of Massachusetts and Northern Berkshire, that's what pays for the music and the sound here tonight. So we really appreciate the funding. Uh, State Rep. Gail Caridi, for both years that we've applied, she's written letters in support. Uh, and that's helped us get the grant money. He's gonna play the Town of Cheshire Select Board, Paul Astorino, Carol Francisconi, and Bob Siskowski, we appreciate their support. Chip Winard, who's helped with the sound, he lives right over here. He owns Wood Brothers Music. Reynolds Team Sales, these beautiful t-shirts that we have. If you ever need t-shirts for anything or any type of shirt, they do silk screening, embroidery. It's amazing, they're down at Allendale uh, in the Coatesville Corners. Uh, the Baptist Church, Pastor Chris, they have a, a free iced coffee station over here to our left, and they funded the clown, Clyde D. Scope. So we appreciate that very much. 
Father Matthew and St. Mary's Church for the parking, the tables, and the chairs. Again, these things can't come together without a lot of people, so we appreciate that. Repro Systems, uh, it's actually a locally owned business that does printing. Uh, they, they printed a number of copies of our flyer for us, so we really appreciate them. Peter Traub, he's very involved in the local community. He also handles the Courier, the local newspaper, and he volunteered to put 250 of our flyers in the Courier. Uh, and I'm sure he's got the uh, paper cuts to prove it. So thank you, Peter Traub, very much for your help with that, getting the word out. Uh, as I said, we're the Cheshire Community Association. The folks in the tie-dye shirts are our base committee. Uh, they're all working here tonight. And if you have questions or you'd like to participate and support what we do, ask any of us. We are now, uh, through the help of Ed St. John and his wife Pam, we are now a 501c3. So any money donated uh, is a tax deduction. So we're real proud of that too. Lastly, we have local vendors. Uh, from the right here, we've got CJ Garner who has the food truck. Uh, down from him, we have um, El Martin Farm, locally raised beef, pork, and eggs. And there's actually a burger special at CJ's Wagon using their beef. So that's pretty cool to, to get a burger that came right from your own town. Uh, Atalanta Sungaroff, she is the next table down here. She owns Wake Robin Botanicals. Uh, she lives on Sand Mill Road and she grows herbs on her property and makes uh, tinctures, creams, and teas from those herbs. So very cool, another local business that most people don't know about. Cheshire Glassworks, which pretty much everybody knows Jill. But let, she's part of our committee, but she agreed to have a table here tonight so you get to see her work up close and personal, and everybody knows. I mean, whenever I need something last minute, guess where I go? I can walk there in about three minutes. Uh, and she makes beautiful stuff. Uh, Maple Valley ice cream, which <laughs> I probably don't need to tell most of you about that, because I'm imagining you've tasted it. But it's, um, it's amazing. Lori Ballowinder, uh, again, another local product, and uh, pretty much locally made ice cream. Very new to uh, beekeeping and honey creation is Bob Bellowender. Uh, he has a little business called Let It Be, and his partner is Sherry Benedetti Zepka, and her business is Zepka Zapieri. And for those of you that don't know, they have a special guest at their tent this evening. It's actually the queen, uh, the queen bee. So if you'd like to see the queen bee, go over and see Bob and Sherry. Pretty cool stuff. We also have uh, the uh, local volunteer fire department, which they have our brand new, beautiful uh, fire truck, which kids can climb on and check out. And they're doing a 50-50 raffle. So those of you that are feeling lucky, uh, please go, get over to the fire department's 50-50 raffle and, and uh, try it out. We also have the Lions Club. And they're do you everybody probably knows they do some amazing things in town here. Uh, very charitable organization. We appreciate them being here as well. And then lastly we have Kristen Demio, who is a local author. And she writes uh, history books about local history. And so again, pretty neat thing to be able to buy a book maybe for a gift. But it'll get you there Oh, two trained and wheels And we're off to the fair I got some cotton candy to share